Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours, what you can expect, what's coming forward. What is going on in the next 48 hours? Okay. And as I was meditating on your energy, I got a lot of words coming through. Empathy. Bittersweet. Service. Um, so, let's get into your reading and so we can look into what this means for you in the next 48 hours. Okay, Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus. So if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Spirit, give me a message for Cancer next 48 hours. What is going on for Cancer the next 48 hours, please? <clears throat> Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Wow. At the bottom we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you're waiting on some kind of communication. You're waiting on some kind of opportunity to come through for you. Um... Could be a job offer, could be some kind of other offer. But I feel like whatever it is, Cancer, the Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. I feel like in some sort of situation you're expanding, but you're waiting for some kind of communication. Or you could be waiting to take action. I feel like you're, you're very content, you're very happy at the moment, but you feel like there's more. There's something that gives you greater purpose. And I feel like you're actively in search of that. I feel like there's there's something that may be paying the bills, Cancer. But I feel like you feel like you're capable of so much more. Okay? Um, and I feel like you're ready to pursue whatever this is. Because it's, it's something that... You're very focused on finding out what this is. I'm, I'm not even quite sure if you truly know uh, what this is that you want to pursue. But you feel like there's so much more to what you are doing that can bring you more financial stability, more independence. I feel like you're actively searching for this, okay? You're, you're looking for answers. You're looking for a lot more clarity. And I feel like whatever ideas are coming to you, I feel like they have, a, they're kind of thought provoking, okay? <clears throat> because I feel like this is something that you're creating out of your imagination. Something that you're imagining, you're trying to create. I'm not sure what this is, so if this resonates, please comment in the comment section because I'm very curious. Um, but I feel like you're using your imagination to create something viable. Okay, something that... you have a lot of interest in something you have a lot of passion to do something that you're driven driven to succeed with okay 
Let's get more messages for Cancer. What is this situation, please? The King of Wands. The Sun card. Okay. The Devil. And the Eight of Wands again. <clears throat> At the bottom we have the Three of Cups. There may be people that you're working with with this situation. You may be going into business with more than just yourself. Um, you may be pursuing something that interests other people around you. Um, or this could be just you socializing and getting out there, networking. Um, hanging out with your friends and family in the next 48 hours. Okay? Um, but Cancer... If you are interested in love, I feel like there's someone very potential here. Someone that you have a lot of chemistry with. Someone that's very uh, passionate and driven. Someone that is truly a go-getter is what I'm getting. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of success with this person. There's a lot of happiness. I feel like this person is very humorous. I feel like kind of sometimes they may, may be humorous in like a tacky way but I feel like you know in a flirty vibe I feel like uh, they're very humorous. Okay. Take it how it resonates. But with the devil card and the eight of wands I feel like you may have been in a slump, Cancer. I feel like there was a lot of negativity around you. And it may be your energy that was providing the negativity. But I feel like you're moving past this energy. You're coming out of this slump. Um, you're finding more things to have action for. You're finding more reasons to communicate exactly it is what you're wanting, what you're wishing for. Okay? Um, I feel like you're really working on something that's going to bring you more contentment, more satisfaction, more joy. And I feel like you're actively pursuing this. To where you're like giving yourself permission to take action. Because you are sure it's going to lead you to a better place. Okay? So I feel like you're giving yourself permission to take action with this King of Wands energy. Okay? This may be your energy. This may be someone else's. But I feel like this King of Wands is bringing a lot of excitement a lot of enjoyment okay so um i'm not sure where you're meeting up with this king of wands it may be in some kind of social setting with this three of cups coming in um you may be just getting out and meeting this person this may be your first meeting or first date or first encounter um, but I feel like this person is very vibrant I feel like they're full of life full of energy full of excitement okay so I feel like this person is bringing a lot of excitement to your life within the next 48 hours okay we have the will of fortune so I feel a lot of things turning in your favor. A lot of things are becoming more clear to you. You're, you're pursuing this activity. Look at this. We got the King of Swords, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there's a lot of clarification here, you know, that 
what you're pursuing is going to be very fulfilling to you. What you're pursuing is going to be um, almost life changing because I feel like the wheel is turning. You're hitting some kind of turning point where you are ready to take action. You're ready to make moves. You're ready to use your deep thought and intelligence to move you very quickly into um, these wishes being granted, this contentment, you know, having everything you need. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get a little bit more clarity for this. Cancer, let's get a little bit more clarity. Tell me more about this situation, spirit. Tell me more about this situation, please. The Ten of Cups again. Wow. Lots of energy. And we have the Nine of Cups. Excuse me, the Nine of Swords. The Two of Cups. And the Four of Wands. So I feel like whatever the situation is, um, I feel like it's bringing a lot of happiness. Look at this. You have the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Sun. Okay, so this is bringing you into a very exciting, very happy time of your life. So I feel like what this is that you're pursuing is maybe very destined to happen. Whether you realize it or not, I feel like it's destined to happen. Okay, um... So it's very interesting energy. We do have the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords energy, I feel like you're battling some, some sort of doubt that you may be holding back in your consciousness. That could be this devil energy. This negative vibe back here that you may be trying to fight, trying to hold off on. Um... But I feel like it's not holding you back. You're actually pursuing something very nice. If you are open to love, I feel like there's a lot of love here and celebration. Uh, maybe reunions or coming back to someone. Uh, this could be you, you know, having some sort of homecoming after being gone too long. You know, uh, you may not have had any contact with this person or... You may have been away. Okay, but I feel like if you're open to love, I feel like love is here. There is some sort of love interaction within the next 48 hours that's going to make you very happy, very satisfied, very uh, fulfilled. You know, this is like a celebration, the Four of Wands. Reason to celebrate, reunite. So there may be a reunion the next 48 hours for you, Cancer. Um, let's get some more messages, please. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, the World card. The Nine of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. So I feel like a lot of things are coming to light for you. I feel like at times this may feel like a gift that you're receiving. Um, something is becoming more complete. I feel like you're moving into this energy of this new idea of creating money. As I'm looking at the world card, I'm, I'm really looking at this pentacle sticking out. And um, it feels very apparent that this has to do with some kind of goal, some kind of lesson that you went through that's going to bring you so much more abundance. Okay, something is bringing you in abundance. And I feel like it's this gift. This gift that's being offered to you. Some sort of offer, some sort of invitation is going to lead to a financial gain. Okay? Um, 
very interesting energy here but i feel like you're coming into more abundance the feeling of being able to provide yourself what you need when you need it okay we have the hierophants so definitely, I feel like you may be not just learning lessons. I feel like you may be teaching lessons too. This could be you coming more into your spiritual gifts, spiritual knowledge. Some kind of knowledge that you may have been afraid to use in the past. Or may have been told not to use in the past. Maybe you have some sort of um, psychic ability. Maybe your third eye is opening. Uh, you're more intuitive. Your intuition is high. But I feel like, you know, the people around you, they may not believe in the clairvoyance. Okay? Uh, they may not believe in the divination. So maybe you've been led to believe that that was, the, that was wrong. That was something that you shouldn't do. Uh, but I feel like your intuition is very high. Your spirituality is very high. So I feel like you're, you're like standing on what you believe in. And pursuing what actually feels right. And I feel like you're coming into this clarity. This breakthrough that... The only way for you to advance or to grow is to tap into that spirituality that people have been telling you not to do. Okay, I feel like that's where your destiny lies. You're, the universe is letting you know that you're going on the right path. You're working through these issues. And sometimes they may feel like burdens. And sometimes they may feel like other people just don't understand like other people just have a problem with the way that you carry yourself or the way that you you know take on the priorities in your life but i feel like spirit is letting you know that you have this ability for a reason and if god the higher power has given you this ability it's for a reason it's for you to use it for your greater good. Um, so I, I feel like if that's what you're tapping into, Cancer, I feel like it's something that the universe wants you to know it's okay. It's okay. You're protected. Okay? Um, I feel like the universe is saying to use your gifts. Use your gifts to bring you stability, to bring you solid ground, to be a wise leader. Okay? Um, I feel like those gifts were given to you for a reason. Let's get a message for Cancer. What does Cancer need to hear right now? Hmm. What does cancer need to hear right now? Be assertive. Take action, cancer. And there may be, may be a need to compromise. Okay? But I feel like the Spirit is saying don't compromise your beliefs. Don't compromise your beliefs. Stand on your beliefs. But compromise, you know, what needs to be compromised you know to help someone understand okay but do not compromise your beliefs stand on your beliefs strong okay there's a reason for you to say no okay um and i'm always dropping cards Let's see what is this one Okay, the situation will improve. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know that you're, you're ready. You're ready. 
your situation is improving whether you see it or not the wheel is turning in your favor you have all of these abilities your wishes are coming true you have happiness look at this you have and i'm moving these all over the place i'm sorry look at this look at all these great cards you have this ability okay things are looking very bright for you cancer there's no way around it as the world wheel turns it turns in the direction all roads lead to happiness and abundance okay so it's beautiful beautiful energy cancer um let's get some angel cards let's end this with some angel cards and then <clears throat> Okay, prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Okay. And we have inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Okay, Cancer. So this is a beautiful reading. This is very beautiful, Cancer. If this reading resonates, please like share subscribe um hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your march readings i have all of those uploaded in a playlist so take a look at your sun moon and rising in the march playlist and until your next reading cancer many blessings to you love and light